check this out guys the Hager mini heater for nano aquarium you can hide it almost anywhere in your tank and no one will even see it got all right guys we're back new viewers this is water change wednesday what that is i take questions out in the description in the comments below the video and i'll answer them there and then i'll answer them here i also want to show you guys today the hager mini heater that i've had going in my five gallon it's worked out really really well it's cheap, $19, and it's very small and narrow. So I'm gonna show you that today and take the questions as well. All right, let's get into the video. Water Change Wednesday. First question, George asks. I use coral amino in my 20 gallon tank and I put 10 drops in 20 gallons. I shut the skimmer off for about 15 minutes. I put the drops in a high circulation area and then I turn the skimmer back on. I've noticed it to really brighten up my colors in all my coral, so I do that daily. All right, let me show you this heater from Hager, guys. It's pretty cool, and it's worked well. It's really small and narrow. What it was before, however, it wasn't the way I wanted it. These suction cups were actually stuck on here. So it came like that, one on the top and one on the bottom. And I was going to twist this whole thing off. And when I looked closely at it, I realized it was strapped on, but permanent. So what I did was I just cut it off. The suction cups, you guys know, they never work. Next question. Reef Gaming asks, I recently got back into the hobby. I do water change on Wednesday, of course. He asks, even if it doesn't need a water change, is it a good idea to do the weekly water change? So I used to change water religiously weekly, and that's fine, it can't hurt. A water change can never hurt. If you're looking at your tank and it's looking really good and you wanna skip a week here and there, test it out, see what's going on. But test your water once in a while. If you're going to start a whole new water change habit, then you want to test your water maybe every two weeks to see if there's a fluctuation. And obviously, if you start seeing algae growth that you don't want, then you know you have to get back into a heavier water change maintenance. If you read that close, explosion proof. So here's the external controller, guys. I'm liking Hagar a lot. Uh, it's a little clunky, but I don't care. I have it set to 75, and what it shows in the aquarium is 76.8, so it's not so accurate. Point is, is I can control it from outside of the aquarium. I don't have to twist anything on the top or anything. It's working great. What do you want for 19 bucks? Claudia's Reef asks, do you maintain a sand bed? I've always kept sand beds. Initially, way back, it was said that it could be denitrifying, but you'd have to keep a four inch or deeper sand bed for that even to happen. Over the years, I've noticed that my phosphate levels with say a two inch sand bed have always been high. And just about six months ago, when my phosphate was really high in my 20, I began to vacuum the sand bed and I noticed a substantial decrease in my phosphate. So now what I do is I vacuumed a lot of it out and I keep just a minimal amount just for cosmetic look. And I'm always vacuuming the sand bed. So now if I'm doing a water change every other week, 
I vacuum the sand bed during the water change, and I've noticed it's kept my phosphate levels down quite a bit. This is a good one. We have to do this one. Simulated reality asks, his alkalinity keeps climbing. He recently changed his salt. Could that be a reason for the climb in his alkalinity? And I said, definitely. Depending on what the salt mix is measured at when it's freshly made could affect his alkalinity. He switched to reef crystals, which is what I use. And he noticed it crept up from eight to nine and then he recently tested its 10.3. My alkalinity runs between nine and 10 all the time. There's a lot of SPS reefers that like a higher alkalinity. You can't even see where the Hager heater is. Let me get a close-up of it so you can see. It's in the corner right behind the HOB and next to the Skin 350. SL Reefer says, how do you reduce ammonia and nitrite really quick? There are products out there that when you have ammonia and nitrite, you're adding bacteria into the water. It goes into your tank and it eats up all the ammonia and nitrite, so to speak. But I've never been a big fan of rushing nature. What I will use that for is after the tank cycles naturally, which can take three to four weeks, it depends on where your rocks were at when you got them. But what I use some of the commercial products for, I use Seachem Stability. After it's cycled, as I'm adding new bio load, then I'll implement the stability to prevent any spikes in the ammonia or nitrate, but I won't use that to cycle the tank or to prevent the natural cycle from occurring. I think we've answered enough questions, right guys? Hide it, you'll never see it in your aquarium. Anyway, this is Tom Reefer. Yeah, what are you gonna do? It's Tom 